Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd start a new vlog. It's been a couple weeks since I vlogged and in a couple days we are going to be going on vacation for a week to the beach. So we are all super excited for that and I have a lot to do to prepare so I thought it would be fun to film sort of like a packing vlog. So to start I thought I'd share some new things that we got specifically for this vacation. Um, I picked up these cute little towels for the boys um, at Target. It was only $10 for both of them. Um, for Easter, my brother and his girlfriend bought uh, the boys these kites, so they should be really fun to do at the, the beach. And then after much back and forth and returning and buying new things, different sizes, I finally found two maternity bathing suits that I can tolerate, I, I like <laughs> for the most part. So the first one is this one here, the buttons, and it of course has the ruching on the side. I love this like pink salmon color. And I bought a pair of like swim shorts to put over top for more coverage. And then I got this second one. Um, it's a one piece. And it also has shorts on the bottom, so I really like that. And it's got this cute halter top um, and the ruching, of course. We actually have two beach-like vacations this summer, so hopefully these bathing suits will fit me all summer. Um, they fit now. <laughs> they will be good for this vacation. So we have another vacation next month that we're going to a lake. So I'm really hoping that they fit then, um, considering my belly will be much bigger and I tend to gain quite a bit of weight while pregnant as well, so we will see. <laughs> so something else interesting that I thought I would share is that I made, we're going to be there for seven nights, um, so I thought I would share how I'm going to be planning meals. Um, I thought I would put together a little shopping list for the grocery store before we left so that we're not standing in the grocery store trying to figure out what the heck we should buy so of course I planned meals first um, and put together a list of based off of what we are going to be making and then food that we're going to just bring from home and also a little bit of a packing list of just things that I don't want to forget. Um, but for the meals, I thought I would keep it like super simple. We'll eat out a couple times. Maybe even this pizza night, we might order the pizza or buy a frozen pizza. I'm not really sure yet, but figured pizza, tacos, brown sauce, baked CD. Uh, if you haven't had brown sauce, you have to try it. It's literally the best jar of sauce out there if you're not going to make your own sauce definitely get that kind. <laughs> um, we'll get a steak, have some potatoes with it, burgers, macaroni and cheese for the boys, broccoli, that sort of thing. So hopefully this will help, <laughs> should help. To share a smoothie recipe that uh, is like my go-to smoothie recipe mostly in the summer I don't really like drinking smoothies when it's cold outside but it's super good and decently nutritious so I usually start with about a quarter to a half a banana depending this one's extremely ripe so I'm only putting a little bit in so that the smoothie doesn't get too sweet because I don't like when they're overly sweet if you like really sweet smoothies I would put in maybe a whole banana or at least the half um, and then I get some sort of like berry, frozen berries. So this one has strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. So I put in like maybe half a cup to a cup depending on how much I want to make. Um, if the boys are having some too. I'll put in like a full cup of this and then 
then I freeze spinach in the freezer bag. And I usually put like at least one good, if not like two hand two big handfuls. Because my boys don't love vegetables, so it's a great way to add in some vegetables. Um, I usually get low fat vanilla yogurt. So I usually put in like a couple scoops of this. Oh, yoga my favorite. And then usually some sort of milk. I will use like regular low fat milk, um, but I prefer to use this so that there's just less, you know, this is healthier. Um, I don't really measure it. So I usually just add as much as I think. And then if I have to go back in and add more, if it's too, thick then I'll do that um, but with the Vitamix we got this for Christmas this year and we haven't had any problems with it it like blends up everything our last blender we would have to add more liquid if it was having trouble doing the frozen fruit but this thing is amazing so here's what it looks like when it's all done um, I only got a little bit because the boys stole most of mine <laughs> but that's okay um, I also forgot that a lot of the time, I, times I put in chia seeds as well to add extra nutrition and everything. So. so another thing that I have to share with you guys is, um, I think it was last week or so, I used some money that I got for Mother's Day and bought myself this cordless vacuum. And it is honestly like one of the most favorite, one of my most favorite things that I've ever bought myself. I know that probably sounds a little dramatic, but I'm honestly being serious because it just makes keeping the house clean so much easier, which just makes me feel so much better because like I'm one of those people who can't relax when the house is a mess and just feels so much better when like everything is usually just tidy but clean as well, honestly. If like I know that everything is really clean, then I feel like I'm doing a good job. <laughs> Feeling like everything is right in the world, that whole thing. Um, but this vacuum was only was on sale for like a hundred dollars, um, and I'm honestly really pleased with it. I've on, obviously only had it for like a week, um, so I can't like speak to how long it will last or you know long term things like that. But so far, it's been awesome. Um, I'll link it below if you're interested because it is really reasonably priced and. It works really well for our house. Um, our house is pretty small though, so it doesn't take <laughs> that long to vacuum. Good morning, friends. It's the next day now. Um, we leave for a vacation tomorrow, and I technically haven't packed anything, so I am certainly feeling the pressure and anxiety <laughs> to get things done. Um, and to top it all off, uh, Shaney woke up this morning with what I think is his first ear infection, so that's not great. We are going to be bringing him to the doctors today and if it is an ear infection hopefully we can get some medicine and he'll be feeling better by tomorrow and everything will be good. But as of right now I am, I don't know if you can hear that, the washing machine is running. Uh, I'm doing one last load of laundry and then I have the suitcases here. I'm going to start packing everything all up. I've got my lists, I've got everything prepared, but now it's time to start packing. So I thought I'd give a little update. Um, so as you saw, I was able to pack the boys' suitcase. Um, it is jam-packed. They have lots of stuff. Um, oh, there's a blue jay outside. How pretty. Oh, let me see if I can get on camera. He flew away. <laughs> um, but as you saw, I am getting as much packed as possible. I did one last load of laundry. I got all that dried and I'm putting them all into suitcases. Um, boys are having a TV day since Shani is not feeling well. Um, 
I have to finish folding up our laundry, put that into our suitcase, and I think that's all I could do for now. I have the towels in the laundry, or in the dryer. Um, I have to pack those when they come out. I have most of our bathing suits and everything packed, but so far so good. Um, I was able to get Shani a doctor's appointment for later in the afternoon when Tommy's gonna be home so he can either stay here with Riley while he's napping or take him. So that's good because uh, I had originally gotten an appointment for 115, which is in the middle of Riley's nap and I wasn't thinking that through. So I switched it to three and that should be a lot better for us. So as you saw this suitcase here is the boys. It is very full, but all their stuff except for their coats um, is in there and their bathing suits but I have something else this one this we really need a new suitcase but this is mine and Tommy's and this is the rest of the clothes sorry no Ellie um, I have to put these away because we're not bringing those um, this is mine and Tommy's and this big pile still needs to be folded so let's get to it Okay, so I got most of our clothes packed up. Um, I think I have to add some extra socks and underwear, maybe. Um, what are you doing, Ray? What are you doing over there? Oh, yeah. But everything's in here. Um, as you can see, it goes a little higher than <laughs> the suitcase should go. I mean, it definitely closes, but I'm just hoping there's going to be enough room for like toiletries and stuff up here. I have some stuff over here that I am collecting things we need to bring, like a brush. This has Q-tips and flossers and these cotton rounds to remove my makeup. Um, my belly butter. Uh, Aquaphor for Riley. Oh, thank you, Ry. Um, some aloe, in case any of us get sunburn. Sunblock. Bug spray. Um, some gel. Toothpaste. Some stuff for my hair, mostly. And chapstick. Nail clippers. Um, and then in the morning, we'll get, like, the tooth toothbrushes and I have to get our shampoo and conditioner and stuff still too but it's not too much so it should fit in there actually so that's good so the house is kind of a mess but we have the food the dry food anyway not cold food packed up in here and we have all the like paper products aluminum foil plastic bags in here. We've got a pile of things ready to go to the car over here. We have our beach chairs, the pack and play, um, that kind of stuff here. We have our beach things in here and their coats because I couldn't fit that in anything else. Their sunglasses. I'm going to put all the towels in here. They're in the dryer. I just have to pack them away. And our beach toys are outside. Oh, and a little update on our poor Shaney is that he brought him to the doctor and he does have a double ear infection. Uh, it didn't seem to be bad. He said it's just a little red, but he did give us antibiotics for him. So hopefully he'll be feeling better and he can enjoy our vacation.